<laughs> okay, I'm about to go into one of the, the toughest teaching sessions of the year, and it's not even a teaching session, it's a revision session. Year two medicine students have got an anatomy exam next week, they've got a series of exams. So we've got a revision session this afternoon, and you know, they get a little bit stressed and panicked, but as a teacher, it's really tough because they don't realize how much they know. They've been revising really hard, so they're really sharp. And they are gonna ask us questions about every part of the body. So my brain has to jump from the, the, the leg to the cranial nerves, to the elbow, to the hand, to the liver, to the brainstem. And I have to hope that what I'm remembering is accurate. It's, it's shockingly difficult and um, very frustrating. Right, off I go, wish me luck. <clears throat> too bad actually. A um, little bit concerning maybe because we've got 150 year two students and didn't have very many in the revision session so hopefully they're very, they're very confident in their anatomy knowledge. Oh, wide range of questions, some of them very straightforward, some of them I'm pleased to get because I can answer them and some very detailed high high knowledge stuff. But it, it's incredibly frustrating memory Makes, you, makes me feel like a fraud sometimes. I've been doing this for so long. Why can I not remember everything, like all the anatomy I've ever studied, in perfect clarity? Why can't I remember all the physiology I was taught when I was doing my degree? Why do I forget things? Why do I muddle things up? Why do I mix things up? <sighs> I don't know, probably unlike the exam, it's not really something I can prepare for either because they can ask me anything about anything. And the reason I didn't take you into the lab is because A, st the students were already pretty stressed, let's not put a camera in their faces, but also we, uh, <laughs> we're looking at cadavers as well as plastic models. Um, you know, I wish I could remember all the students' names, I try really hard. Why can't I remember everybody's name? Why can't I remember everything with perfect clarity and explain it clearly and have that confidence? in that understanding and that explanation. Why, why, I, and I know the students are feeling exactly the same thing when they have exams coming up. But this is, this is like their first time learning it. Uh, I've been doing this job for 20 years. Right, let's get a cup of tea and then uh, oh, try and record this vestibulo ocular reflex video with brainstem nuclei and stuff, lots of detail. Hope I've got, hope I've got enough energy, <laughs> right. Ah, balls to that. Those are just the honest frustrations of the, uh, the working brain, right? Go for a run, get outside, get some fresh air and move and, and blow it all out. Um, and there are two things going on here, right? One, I did give a lot of good advice, answered some questions, clearly helped students' understandings and uh, gave some good descriptions, even of some complicated stuff. But of course you forget all that. You just disregard it, you don't remember it. You remember the things that you struggled with, found difficult and maybe got wrong, right? And number two, well, <laughs> the human brain's not perfect. Memory recall is difficult. Um, This is normal, it happens, right? This is the human brain, this is what we're trying to teach and understand, right? Oop. And I'm trying to point out also that students that have got exams coming up, well, you have exactly the same issues. I see a lot of you with really good knowledge, but you're worrying about the things you don't know. Fair enough, you've identified the things you don't know and you want to know them. That's learning. Um, but the same two things apply in the exam. As you go around an exam, there are easy questions, 
there are questions you have confident answers in questions that you do well in you disregard those you forget those i'm not saying you disregard the question but you answer the question and then you immediately forget it you forget all those easy marks you've picked up and those difficult questions the ones that expose gaps in your knowledge or your recall isn't super confident <laughs> those are the ones that you remember and that brings your mood down and your confidence down and you need to not let them do that you do not need to score 100% in your exam um, many exams do have grades at different levels sure but I've never seen an exam where you're not allowed to make mistakes usually there is a, a threshold and if you're above that threshold you're good um, so as you go going particularly with a spotter exam as you're going round an exam and you do a question and then you move on to the next question don't let the previous questions that you struggled with upset your thinking upset your confidence approach each question afresh go through your process you'll be good <laughs> uh, use the same mentality in ultra running and rock climbing honestly you have bad patches you know they're going to go away you just keep going and when you're climbing you have scary patches and you have to talk your way through it and most of the time it's fine it's normal for us and a good thing for us to reflect on what we do uh, because then we can change and make improvements right um, but you've also got to reflect on the good stuff the stuff that you're good at you've got to pat yourself on the back every now and then I'm, I'm particularly bad at doing that um, I'm not going to get any better at it either but I like the, 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 the linking to climbing psychology I think anybody else who climbs trad and has put themselves in dodgy situations knows what, <laughs> probably knows what I'm talking about right all right good luck in the exam everybody actually I don't usually wish luck because you make your own luck right the more you work the luckier you get but still um, let's hope those things outside of our control don't go wrong oh no have I jinxed it now what? you don't want to do the big hill no? You can. No, it's fine. Come on then. 